JSU is a known institution when it comes to athletics. However, the basketball program has stumped into a rebuild. Coach Maurice Williams is a retired NBA player. He played 13 years in the league. Now he's trying to find success as a head coach. He took the job in his hometown to change the culture of the program. Well, just setting the culture, hey. Um, that's the most important thing. Just get guys that obviously uh, buy into your system and not only buy in, but fit into your system. Um, together they are. You bring a, uh, a lot of new players together. Sometimes you worry about the cohesiveness and how, how together they are. And that, that happened pretty quick for us. And that, that always great when you're bringing in new players and new coaching staff. Them coming together early was big for us. You know, having a mindset coming in practice, making it extremely tough, uh, creating some adversity in practice so they can work on practicing with adversity so when the game, adversity hit, we would be able to respond to it. Gay Watson's a prolific school. He played for the previous coach for last year. It is a bit different than how he plays now compared to last season. I feel like Mo is more, he, he understands the player because he's, he's played on this level level before. So he, I feel like he understands the player. He understands what we need. He understands about, you know, skill training, stuff like that. I feel like Coach Brent did too as well, but uh, he was more of an old school type of system. Uh, his, was, his was more honed in on the fundamentals and stuff like that. Mo, Mo he's still honed in on the fundamentals, but he, he's going to let you play. So I, th I think this was different. As far as last year, I feel like we were kind of divided. This year, we like to spend a lot of time uh, together off the court. As far as this, even if we're going out to eat, going to the movies, just chilling in the room, throwing a kickback, something like that. So I think that's that's what did. Chemistry off the court, and uh, I feel like we all we all talk we have talks together, and we just tell each other to uh, if it's criticism, just try to take it and uh, form it into some good, form it into some positive instead of just everybody having pride and ego. Cause that's what we was kind of dealing with a lot last year, so this year I feel like that's different too. Coach Trey Johnson is an assistant for JSU. He is also an alumni. He started his coaching career at Alabama State with Coach Williams. He is a big help when it comes to the younger generation. My motivation is just pouring back into young men who look like me. Um, you know, I think my whole journey and experience in life um, was for a reason, and part of that reason outside of my own kids is to reach back and help me younger generation behind me to be better than I was, to, to learn more than me, to grow at a faster rate than me, and to just be able to really just give back to my community. Me being from here and having went to school here, I just think it's very important that you know, I reach back and forward to young men what I got out of this game and what I got out of life. How you earn it, you know? Obviously, each coach walks into a season with an idea of what his rotation is gonna look like, but Guys are allowed the opportunity to change their coach's mind. You know, coaching is about trust. So the guys that's playing the most minutes, the guys he trusts the most, not just the most talented guys. So you earn it through earning the trust, through coming in practice and putting in the work and, and learning what we're doing, um, how you carry yourself on and off the floor. But I, I think playing time is, is something that is earned, it's not given, um, and then that can be that can be changed at any time. So for this upcoming season, first and foremost win a swag championship. Knowing that that's more of a team goal than an individual goal, but that's something I really want for myself, you know. But I want to be one of them guys that come back to Jackson State and be like, hey, I'm the, I'm the guy that got one of them hanging up there in the rap. He did. The things that we're doing as a team to prepare for the season, as you can see, practicing like animals, you know what I mean? Just going hard, sharpening the iron every single day. I mean, having great coaching staff like Coach Mo, Coach Trey, Coach Allen, trying to eat individually people's skill, I mean, each and everybody's skill individually, getting everybody sharp for the season, having everybody on point, you know, later on down the line in January for the select tournament. Yeah. Most definitely. I feel like this is a big culture change, having people that's from the area, in the same age group, in the same, mm, what's the word, society. You know, not, not saying that last year wasn't more of a togetherness, but this year team, everybody on the same path, had the same understanding. And we all here for one common goal. It's not several different individual goals, it's just one.